Yo, can you guys hear me? Check, check. Check to see if you guys can hear me. Give me some feedback. Let me know if you can hear me. Sup, Kevin, Jeremy. Rusty. Nelson, can you guys hear me? Like, if you can hear me, type in, I can hear you. What's up? What's up? Type in, I can hear you. Hear well. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You can hear me. <laughs> Loud and clear. Awesome, guys. Great. Fantastic. So who is off tomorrow? Who is off? Let me just get this set here. I don't know what this dog is yelping at. So we, I don't know what this dog, what's going on here? Do not restore, hold on. Okay, cool. What's up, what's up, what's up? What's up, David, John, Aris, Wendo, Blanco, Modos, Anthony, what's up? I've been working, been working too much. Jerry Jordan, what's going on? Where is everybody tuning in from tonight? Hello, Snoopy. Type in the chat where you're coming in from so we can do some quick shout outs. Um, don't forget to smash the like button. Illinois, Chicago, St. Louis. <clears throat> I'm in... NC, Dallas, North Carolina, Nevada, Quebec, Texas, San Antonio, Texas again, Roanoke. Is that Roanoke, Texas? Montgomery, Alabama, Honolulu, Hawaii. Sweet VIP members. How many VIP members in the house? Boston, Cali, North Carolina, Mexico for two weeks. Awesome. Indiana? What's up from Missouri, Texas, VIP, Anthony, I see you. Tony from Sydney, Australia. Awesome, awesome. What's up? What's going on? So I had a crazy, crazy day. Adam, VIP in the house. North Carolina, Mr. David Lane, Norway, Compton, California. Compton, yeah. Got a lot of people in the house tonight. Go Rams. Oh, yeah. So who is off tomorrow? Anybody off or people working? Aloha, what's up? Aloha, we got we got a Hawaiian in the house. Woody, Mr. Woody, I think I think he's in Austin. I see ya, man. This light's on. Check out this cool little light. <laughs> Pretty bright, bright little light. Working, working, a lot of people working. Well, I'm working. I had a big problem, got leave out at 4 a.m. Wow. So I had some drain issues today <laughs> that I wasn't able to resolve. The plumber wasn't able to resolve it. So a bunch of BS problems I'm dealing with right now. I'm helping tomorrow to rebuild the 80s VW bug. I have not abandoned. If I abandoned the crew, I would not be here, Anthony. Life happens and things happen and people get busy, but I'm still here. I'm still alive. I'm still breathing after all the shit I went through. I'm off at work at Hyundai. Can you do a video? on a makeshift paint booth. Yeah. <laughs> Anthony's laughing now. Uh, yeah, we actually have a little mini series of that in, in VIP. Where are you traveling to next? Well, I am going on a cruise at the end of the month. And then after that, I'm going to Asia. And I'm renting one of my houses out. The house that I'm living in right now here, Dallas, I'm like moving out. I'm renting it because I am leaving. 
Your shower is still taking a shower. Yeah, my shower is a big problem, dude. I just poured two gallons of acid down it. When I paint my truck, should I take it down to metal? Um, it depends on what you want to do. You could take it down to metal if you want. Or you could kind of take it down to metal in some areas if you have to. And then just epoxy prime it and 2K prime it. 2K prime seal it and uh, block it out and paint it. Come to Japan. Where in Japan? I am going to Japan. I'm going to Japan in a few months. Yeah. Okinawa. My mom's from Okinawa. I'm actually Okinawan. What is the new surprise that makes painting easier? I have been seeing it in emails. I want to know. I can't tell you. Not yet. Not yet. It's going to be probably, we're probably 60 days out for that surprise. About two months. So wait patiently, buddy. Wait patiently. <laughs> it's going to be, it's going to be a game changer, guys. And you guys, I, I think everybody on here is going to want one. And it's super cheap. Super cheap. It's a product. That's all I can say. It's a product that you're going to be using with your spray guns. And uh, it's, not a, it's not a cup. Okay, it's nothing like that. It's not a cup system or any lame thing like that. That's lame. Are you coming to Chicago? Not anytime soon. Not coming to Chicago anytime soon. Um, is it our own personal Tony that comes with paints or cars? Nope, nope. It's not our own little pocket Tony. It's not. I'm sorry about that, guys. Chicago's frozen. That's probably a big reason why I'm avoiding that whole area. Screw Chicago. Can you spray black single stage and have it shiny? Of course. Of course. Somebody said, how do you deal with low ballers when flipping a car? Well, you give them a slap and a kick in the ass. That's what you do. <laughs> Say, bitch, please. You crazy. And then you give them the eyeball. You look down and you look back up at them. Oh, God. How about some tips to get into SEMA? Well, you need to be connected with somebody who has a business, and they can probably get you a pass. Single stage gets shiny. Yes, it does. And you can also mix urethane clear coat in your last coat of single stage if you want to do that. People do that. My dad done it a few times. I did it once. It's cool. Like you sprayed two coat, two heavy coats of your single stage, and on your last coat, you mix about 50% clear in it. So you basically mix a batch of urethane clear coat, right, on the side, maybe a quart and a half, and then you pour it into the black enamel. You mix it up, and you just lay it on. It'll give it a better gloss. So that's a trick that you can do. I want your Mazda Miata. I sold that thing months ago. Does your primer go bad if left on the car too long before paint? Um, it depends too long and it depends if it's been in the weather for a lot, you know, weeks, because it does suck up moisture. And I would definitely block sand it, see how it looks before painting, because you might have to put another coat on before you paint it. Do you prefer TIG over MIG for sheet metal? You could use either or. Um, I think TIG welding is cool as well because you can really get those spots in, but you could do the same thing with MIG. Really depends on how, how you do with each machine. I've always used more of a MIG welding for tacks and stuff. That is how I painted my Miata with single stage and clear coat mixed in. But base coat, clear coat is so much easier to work with. Of course, absolutely. 
base coat clear coat is a lot more forgiving because you can spray the base, see how it's turning out, tack it down, and you can spray clear coat. If you run the clear coat, you can easily block sand it and buff it out. So that's really cool about um, base coat clear coat. And I like base coat clear coat a lot. That's an awesome thing. I did something similar and that bike came out so nice. What's up, bro? Merely? Merly? Rusty Allen? Jesus Christ, y'all need me. I'm just reading a, a screen name here. What's up? Only 13 likes? Yeah, people. People are people, man. Whatever. How would you compare your VIP to a local community college? Well, it's two, two different things. Um, I I, I've had people go through VIP, then go to a community college and actually become the top of their class. You know, this is more of watching, learning. It's community college. They might give you some hands-on, but you get a lot of boring book work with that as well. Um, learn paint correction. Yeah, hit the like button, guys. Hit the like button. How do you prep black aftermarket parts? Um, it depends. I mean, is it is it plastic, polyurethane? Is it metal? Like, what are you talking about? If there's an E coat on it, all you have to do is sand it. You can prime it and paint right over it. What's good? What's good, Jazz? Smash the like button. Johnny Chingas. Johnny Chingas said, smash the like button, fool. How long would you wait to put a second stage of single stage paint on? And what PSI to spray at? Well, by the time you go around the car, right, it's going to take usually... 20 minutes to go around a car, 20, 25 minutes to, to go around the car, give or take, okay? Because you're going to have to stop once or twice to fill up your spray gun with more paint. Yeah, usually, yeah, more like two, at least two times, okay? And then by the time you do start it on the passenger roof, okay, or the passenger door, wherever you started, okay, or the driver's side, wherever you started, by the time you go around, you're ready for the second coat. You might have to wait maybe 10 minutes. Um, what I would do is touch the, the uh, masking tape along the edges of the window or whatever and just touch it. And if it's tacky, you're good. All right? If it's tacky, you're good. If it's stringy and you see a string of paint come off, you might want to wait five more minutes or so. But you want it tacky. Okay? You don't want it dry. You want to paint over tacky. All right, and as far as PSI blowing it out, I would use a 1.4 tip. I like 1.4, either or 1.3, 1.4 tip, and um, spray it about 27, 28 PSI. Um, full fluid flow, and um, yeah, pretty much it. Can you wait too long to color sand after your last clear coat? You could wait years, Woody, and then and then color sand. There was a car I did. I think it was my Miata. I um, I painted it like a year later. I finally color sanded and buffed it. It's actually better to wait longer because it allows your clear coat to harden and cure really good. And then you just basically color. You could sand it down with fifteen hundred grit. Go to two thousand. Some people like to go to 2,500 and then buff it out. I'm getting ready to paint in two weeks. Last time I painted was getting, I was getting what I think was called tiger stripes. Any tips? Well, make sure you're using a, a decent gun because a cheap gun will give you very bad atomization and atomization is is uh, when the spray gun cap right is basically atomizing your paint into fine particles so when it lays onto your panel it lays out very like broken up 
if you have a bad paint gun or a cheap paint gun, the atomization is very bad. And then you just get like kind of like a direct piss on of paint, which can give you uh, tiger stripes. So make sure if you're looking for, you know, make sure you get a medium grade gun at least. You don't have to spend 800 to get a SADA or a WADA. Um, you can actually, actually, I'll give you a link. You can actually get an Atom spray gun. Atom. That's why they made the guns. Atom, because they have the best atomization. So I'll send you a link to Zula right now. They're doing a super sale where you can get a mini gun for 30% off if you buy a full-size gun. Uh, will Zula start carrying more Tamco products looking for their primer? Yes, actually, um, they are integrating um, a FedEx shipping option, and that's not live yet. But actually, Zula is going to have pretty much all of Tamco's products for sale. So check out Zula.com, guys, for awesome spray guns. Pearls, flakes, and uh, clear coats coming soon. Well, it's, yeah, clear coats coming soon. Harbor Freight. Yeah, don't use the Harbor Freight shit guns. I have some at, uh, as demos in there, um, but very bad because you're, you're, you're going to get very bad atomization and it's just, it's not worth it because you're just going to be blowing your job away, blowing all that time and effort of preparation to basically sand it down and do it again. Can you explain how to do a flow coat? Okay, so flow coat is basically, you do your base coat, your clear coat, two, three coats of clear coat, you let that dry, okay? You come back a week later, two weeks later, or even three days later, depending on your time frame, And you sand it down, you can sand it with around 800 grit. You get it flat, 800 to 1000 grit in that area. You get it flat, and then you hit it with two more coats of clear coat. That's a flow coat. Um, some guys may not have enough compressor to paint high pressure spray consistently with high volume. They may need a low volume, low pressure. Correct. Um, that's why if you look at some of the Atom spray guns, Atom X20, I don't like the 21 too much. 21s are a very sensitive spray gun. So if you go to Zula.com guys, and you check out the Atom spray guns. The X21 is a is a um, it's a very sensitive spray gun, and a lot of newbies can can fuck them up. You know, ex excuse my French, but the X20 and 27 are a much stronger build, so you guys are not going to have problems with that. And they come in both low volume, low pressure, and high volume, low pressure for you guys who want to rock a HVLP, but low volume, low pressure spray guns spray just as good, you know, um, and, and that's that. Hey, Tony, I saw you wet sand some bare filler a few years ago. Will the filler absorb water and create problems? Yeah, if you paint it right away, but if you let it dry for a good day or two, you're not going to have a problem because sometimes when you get, when you guys are wet sanding primer guys, you might cut through to the filler, right? To the Bondo, like people, people, like somebody commented the other day, like, Tony, why are you using Bondo, man? Bondo is like old school. It's outdated. Like who the hell uses Bondo? Why don't you use something like Evercoat or I'm like, well, I just call it Bondo. It's like a trade name. Bondo, I don't, I never use the Bondo brand. I just call putty, body filler, Bondo. It's just a thing. I grew up calling it Bondo. I mean, I use Rage for most of my stuff in Evercoat. I like their Bondo better. <laughs> so yeah, guys, I wouldn't use the Walmart Bondo. I would use um, Evercoat. They make a good body filler. Awesome, awesome, Nelson. Who's that? Hmm? Who are you talking to? Mom. Can you explain how to set up the air compression, air filters, and paint gun? Ryan, have you checked out VIP? Because all of that is step-by-step -step laid out. 
If not, I dare you to check out VIP. In fact, for all of you non-VIPs in here, you guys should check out VIP. And I'm going to bomb a link in here. I'm going to blatantly put a link in here so you guys can check it out later. Damn. I know it's hard, but is it possible to work on my van with your supervision time to time? How are we going to do that? Tony, I got a 2.5 horsepower compressor with a 21 gallon tank with a 120 gallon tank hooked up to this. Is it enough for my, yes, it should be enough. But again, when you use up all of that volume of air in your 141 gallons, okay. Something went flying. Down. Here, this is just nasty. <laughs> It's not nasty. It's just sticking on. Your compressor is going to kick on. Yeah. Right? And it's not going to catch up. You, I mean, look, people are saying hi, Maya. Hi. <laughs> so three platinum plus gold is great. Can you do one heavy coat of single stage and let it be? Yeah, you can if you really wet it on and if you're doing something very small. It's going to be hard to do a one wet heavy coat on a complete car unless you have a giant spray gun. <laughs> because by the time you get around, you know, your overspray a little bit's going to start kind of making the rest of your car dull. So, yeah, I would actually put two coats of, of um, single stage, at least two coats of single stage if you're going to do a complete paint job. But if you're doing like a motorcycle tank or something small, yeah, I would just you could just go over it and wet it and just could keep wetting it. Be careful for runs. Right. Keep wetting it and, and leave it when it's glossy. Just call it a day when it's glossy. When it's glossy. Gloss like glamour. <laughs> Ten four in a VIP community. When do you move? When you move, are you moving out of DFW? No. Yeah, for a little bit. Oh, yeah. For a little bit. Okay. Keep it a secret. We're not telling anybody where we're going. Okay. Not, not yet. Unless I need somebody guess. Well, I don't think they can guess. <laughs> We're going somewhere nobody can guess. Have you used? Nope, I have not. What's the weather out there? Oh, well, right now it is. It's cold. That's what it is. Outside? 39 yeah. outside. 39 outside. It's only cold for four months in DFW. Lucky. Well, that's us. Oh. <laughs> well, it's cold. Like we got like December. I mean, we got ice on our car. January, February, March. It's probably going to start to get warm in March. March. 10 degrees out here. Ooh. Yikes. That's if not I, good. If it's that cold, you must be in like New York or something. All me was said, said, what's up? Thanks for like, enjoy your content. Maya, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a French where refinisher. Where is your dad going? and have found myself using more auto products. I have a few questions. Nice, wow, 77 in California. Beautiful. Nice, well, 77. Is the $99 Harbor spray gun good? I don't know, you could try it. I wouldn't get it. I would spend another 100 and get the Adam oh. X20. Hey, That's Dad. what I would do. Somebody, somebody said something. That's Philippines. Oh, well, I ain't. We ain't going there. Are we on? Nope. Okay. <laughs> that's Tell nasty. Us line. Maya, that's nasty. <laughs> nope. Don't get a Sada. Sada. I wouldn't waste your money on a Sada, dude. I would not. I have three okay. of them. Guys, that 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 was this. That, that, that was 25 big. here feels like 12. Yikes. 18 in North Carolina. Oh my goodness. 
12. Oh my God, 12. Ooh, I think my, my brother's in New York now. I think. It's like nine. Let's see what it is over there in Ron Kong. Come on. Ron Kong Club. 17. 45 in Florida. 60. See, look. That made the furry noise. This. This wiggly thing here. Not me. All right. All right, guys. It's about a half hour now. How to keep from getting orange peel in single stage? Well, you got to make sure your you paint's mixed up. Make sure your paint's mixed up really well. Make sure your make sure you're actually laying it on glossy because a lot of times people get orange peel because there's just not enough paint on it. Okay. Uh, what are you going to do with your Chevelle when you mow? Why you want to buy it? You said you're going to keep it for me. Well, any, anything's for sale for the right price. Seven, 75 degrees in Honolulu. That's beautiful. What's the price range you would do? What, what price range would you say is a good gun? What's the weather in the Philippines? Philippines, let's try. I don't know what the Philippines is. I don't have it on my phone. There you go. Okay, anyways. Uh, the Chevelle is good. I got to put the motor in it. I, like I said, guys, I don't do any auto body projects in the winter. Like, I don't. That's just, it is what it is. I, I pick back up probably in March. How is the Chevelle? Still in bad shape right now. Yeah. Well, it's, it's in still pieces. still dead. It's in dead. It's, it's, dead. it's in pieces. Maya, it's right. Just sand and buff and polish. Yep. Oh. Okay, uh, no, you never paid. You you overpaid. I don't get that. This Maybe. is a cool light, guys. Check this light cool out. Light. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, um, all the girls out here. Wait, stop. Hey. Check this light out. <coughs> it has low mode, and then it has this little, this little point light as well. Okay, I have a 96 Ford Mustang Cobra, and has been, and the live, limited edition mystic paint job i have some spots where clear coat has faded would you like to re-clear to protect paint until repair car tips i see the light and the last time i seen the light okay um i thought you were gonna erase memory in black <laughs> yeah that's what i'm gonna do okay, anyways. i'll just be like <laughs> Uh, where am I? <laughs> where am I? Uh, L Y six with an Issa. I don't know what the lumens are on on the light, but I do know that this is not a LED light. LED. It's a COB light. You guys know what a COB light is? That's this. It looks They're yellow. Really it skin. looks like this. this it's a COB light. <laughs> which is brighter than LED. Like those tiny little dots. Yeah, it's called chip on board. Chips on board, chips on board, chips See on that? board. Pretty cool. And it's like super bright. Like, look at that. Oh, it's like, this. it's brighter than the sun. I'll tell you that. Oh. Oh yeah, we gotta go take a look at the moon. Oh yeah, we gotta do it. It's the, it's the lunar eclipse tonight. Guys, I don't We're, I don't know if it's a lunar eclipse. It's just a blood moon. We got to Google yeah, it. Yeah, well, anyways, um, where did you order it? We got it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Kids have the biggest mouth ever. Well, they want to know. So I'm the good one here. I'm the good one. Well, guy. this is a surprise, man. This is a surprise for them. Oh, okay. Anyways, I'm no, you guys, guys, we're gonna be, we're gonna, we got some cool things for VIPs with these things. And you said, here you go, girl. This is yeah, special. This is special. VIPs are gonna have a chance to get these. VIP, so you gotta yeah. be a VIP now. This is crazy. I want you guys to be a VIP now. <laughs> I want you guys to be a. I got I wanna, I wanna be happy right now. I wanna be now. Bye, Tony. Peace out. Goodbye. All right, guys. Guys, from now on, we're gonna be on. I wanted to go on yesterday, but I was just so busy. How can I be VIP? The important question. I was yet. just so busy. Go to that. 
check that link out. That I couldn't do it. Does it have a light on the mag? Does it have a? Does the light have a magnet on the bottom? No. It yes, it does. Oh, it does. Um, not this one. Sorry. The smaller one. Oh, it does. It does. Give me something quick. Give me something um, metal. Um, uh, metal. Oh, I don't know. I'm pretty sure it does. It has a, a magnet thing on it. Hey, I got something metal. No, 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 no. I got it. I got it. It is metal. It is metal, guys. Look. I brought a lamp. Let's see. I brought a lamp. Let's see, guys. There we go. So we could do this. That's a nice and have it like that. light that. for a detailing car. All right. I joined VIP and I didn't get a light. Well, this is not this is not up yet. It's going to <laughs> this be. This is there. in the process. This is a process, people. You guys What's weren't supposed to see this tonight. Anyways, what's the best pizza spot in New York? Forgot forgot about it. Dad. Um, Johnny. Patsy's. Patsy's. Patsy's if you're in the city, but I think they they might have closed Nine down. Points. How much money for a reasonable reasonable to rent spray? Well, it, you know, some people charge two hundred a day. Some people charge a hundred. It it all depends. Depends, people. You know, I don't know. Depends. Go down. Uh, go down. Randy, you said you joined VIP to get a light. It wasn't in the offer. I didn't say you're getting a free light, did I? This is just a new thing. I just thought about it. <laughs> Special for VIPs. I didn't even order them yet. This is just a sample prototype. Got to be patient. Um. Okay. Um. I need one. Yes, you do need one. Uh, what's your favorite anime series? Me? Okay. I like um, I like Kiki or Totoro. Would a 29 gallon 7.3 CFM at 40 enough to run? It's going to be tight, but yes, it could work. It depends on what size your project is. If you're spraying something small, yeah, you'll have enough. You guys got to remember your gallon size is your air reserve. So the bigger your tank is, the more. The more Love volume me. you have to, to, to spray. I don't get that. Do you love we? What's we? WWE. What's we? I don't get we. I'm pretty sure that's. We Superstar. Who's your favorite We Superstar? That's me. Because my middle name is Star. So, yeah, that's me. Thank you. Okay. Uh, any new me Super Show? Oh, yeah. WWE superstar. I don't know. Well, it nope. you love The Rock. Oh, yeah. But is the, is the Rock in WWE or WWF? I don't know. Meh. I, I forgot. But yeah. my dad, man, The Rock. The Rock was my neighbor. If you guys want to know some back history, The Rock used to be my neighbor. His neighbor. They gave him free tickets. Do they? David yeah. Schaff, Yes, in the summer. We're not doing any, any projects in the winter. That's one's important. Wrestling. Wrestling. Yes. What do you think about dustless blasting cars and frames? I don't know. We, WWE. All right, we got to go. It's past It's past the time here. The time. I said we were going, but we got to go. We really got to go, guys. Guys, like I said, next week, it's going to be from now on on Saturday nights. All right? If Saturday we can't make it, we'll do Sunday, but it's going to be mostly on the weekends from now on. All right, guys? Thank you guys for jumping on. We will see you next week and Saturday or Sunday. I'll have like an um, a, a link with me for you guys about 24 to 48 hours um, before we go live so you guys know. And um, I look forward to saying what's up next weekend. All right, guys? Next weekend. Peace out, guys. Thank you for coming. Smash the like button before you Yeah, leave. you gotta smash it. And um, I'll talk don't, I'm gonna cry. I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> Peace out, guys. Thanks Bye. for thanks for joining. Bye. Bye.